Hi, this is John Sales for Trailers from Hell, and this is probably the longest trailer ever seen on this site. It's from 1938's Test Pilot, directed by Clark Gable's buddy Victor Fleming, who was famous for taking over the direction of Gone with the Wind. Action! Cameras whir, plane zoom, and the greatest story in ten years is in the making. Action! As a pair of reckless sky devils carve a glorious destiny out of white clouds and blue sky. Action! With Clark Gable, Erna Lloyd, Spencer Tracy. Metro-Golden-Mayer proudly presents the powerful drama of the Captain's Courageous of the Air. It's based on a story by naval aviator Frank Spig Reed, who John Wayne later played in John Ford's The Wings of Eagles, with Howard Hawks listed among the screenwriters. The rhythm of the dialogue and sexual politics of the film certainly seem to bear his fingerprints. He specialized in spunky women willing to put up with totally self-centered Obviously, with a trailer this long, the studio expected a huge hit, having spent a lot of money on aircraft and star sounds. And in fact, despite being almost two hours long, the movie, not the trailer, which was stretching it in those days, it was a big box office success. It's one of my favorite movie star movies. Clark Gable as the charming, death-defying test pilot, Spencer Tracy as his devoted but crusty mechanic slash best buddy, and Myrna Loy as the woman who loves Gable despite his bad manners, drinking, and favorites. It's also one of the templates for the romance genre, with Tracy playing the understated grease monkey to the louder glory guy Gable. And though Myrna Loy is just way too classy to believe as a Kansas farm girl, she is a pleasure to be with, and we at least never have to see her try to pitch hay. She is afflicted, however, like many actresses of that period, with crazy looking hats throughout the movie. Gable never had to wear one of these and try to be taken seriously. There's nice character work from Lionel Barrymore and Marjorie Maine, and really, really good aerial stuff. Airplane free will be able to shout out the different planes used, many of them on the cutting edge of technology when the movie was shot in 1937, with the Army Air Corps already realizing there was a storm on the horizon. You can bet there were Luftwaffe engineers taking notes in the front row when this play went German. The plot has been reworked with race car drivers, rodeo riders, bullfighters, and there should have been an alligator wrestling movie made with Lon Chaney and Elisha Cook Juniors. But these movie stars pull it off, helped quite a bit by the pace of the whole thing. A lot happens in these two hours. Gable was a little intimidated by working with Tracy, who had the reputation of a so-called serious actor. And Myrna Loy enjoyed working with them both, often citing this as one of her favorite films. The people who cut this trailer obviously pulled out all the stops. I hope you're noticing the wipes used for transitions. That's when a new shot pushes the previous shot off the screen in some sort of a shape. Here each one seems to be different, including a wipe shaped like a spinning propeller, which I don't believe even Joe Dante and Alan Arkush had the nerve to use. If you don't feel like you've already seen it after the trailer's done, try to catch this movie.